Today is National Book Lovers Day. Houston is home to many wonderful community spots, including bookstores. This morning, we want to focus on Becker's Books. Here to talk about it this morning with us is one of our digital producers, one of my favorite colleagues, Bree Sam Zamora. Uh, Bree, thank you so much for coming in on this show and chatting with us. Oh, thank you so much for having me. You know, yesterday we had the opportunity to catch up before we did this segment, talking about books and how uh, Amy Davis recently got me back into reading. And it's, it's a very special thing to be able to do when you have some downtime to do it. Oh, absolutely. Um, if I had a choice, I would never stop reading. <laughs> it is. It, it is absolutely wonderful. Okay, so I want you to explain, before we get into uh, Becker's books, I want to talk about your role. Oftentimes, when we talk about news stations, we more often just talk about people who are on camera, reporters, anchors, meteorologists, but there are so many people behind the scenes, producers, not only for television, but for the website as well. Sure, so I'm a community producer with clicktohouston.com, and so that means I have the pleasure of seeking out um, interesting community members, um, places in Houston, and profiling them for our readers. And you are so wonderful at it. I love your articles, uh, this article that we're going to talk about, I promise. Uh, when you read it, it brings you there. I can imagine, I, I, I can feel what it's like walking through the halls, and that's so special as a writer to be able to captivate Activate your readers in that way. So it's a very special article. I do want to draw your attention to the QR code at the bottom of your screen. That QR code will bring you directly to Bree's article about Becker's books. And that is what we're going to talk about right now. Yes. Um, so the first time I went to Becker's Books, I had no preconceived idea of what it was going to be like. For people not familiar where the bookstore is, where is oh, it? Oh, sure. It's in the Spring Branch area. Okay. Yeah. Um, I had no expectations. I knew I would enjoy it. Um, I'm a book lover, so right. any place with books is a place <laughs> I want to be. Um, but I figured I would spend an hour in there tops. Um, that plan was completely canceled, nixed, once I walked in the door. Um, there were books everywhere. Every nook, cranny, alcove was covered in books. Um, I knew I would have to And they're not categorically spend. placed in particular areas. So there are categories, but there are 84 categories and then numerous subcategories. Oh, wow. So it is overwhelming how many books that are in there, um, but it's honestly magical. As a book lover, being surrounded by that many books I have never read before is a gift. Oh my goodness, this sounds so awesome. You know, I have the article you uh, wrote is over on uh, the desk and I, I took notes, I highlighted some spots, but I remember one particular uh, quote from Dan, uh, the owner, he talked about, you know, people come here, the expectation is to come here and uh, uh, maybe ha allow the book to find you. I forget how he put it, but if you're going there to find a book uh, a specific book, uh, that's going to be challenging. It's going to be more of those books finding you. Yes, yes. Um, at Becker's, you might not find the book you're looking for, <laughs> but I think you'll find the book that you're meant to find. How many hours should you give yourself going through uh, this bookstore? Oh, um, don't make the mistake I made and think that you're only going to be there for um, just a little while. Eat beforehand, bring snacks, bring water, expect maybe two or three hours if you really want to find those gems. Oh, I love this. Uh, let's talk about the couple that owns the bookstore. Right. Um, Dan and Anne, um, they're both book lovers. You can sense that just from talking with them. Um, Anne is actually... Um, quite the historian, Houston historian, and you'll notice that in the bookstore, the Texas and Houston history section is just incredible. And I think that's all due to Anne. I love that. Okay, we have sound from, I believe, Dan, right? Yes. Talking about his uh, love for books. Listen in. I like to read, I need to read, and I actually love books, the physical object of a book. You know, I, I mean, if, if you have a bookstore, you don't just like to read. You generally really like books and to be surrounded by books. And there's a feeling you get when you're surrounded by books. There's a feeling you get when you can smell books. And books definitely have a smell and bookstores have a smell. And um, it's, it's, uh, it is, like I said, something I need, and it's, it's also something that makes me feel at ease and comfortable. 
Uh, that what he's talking about is so familiar. You know, the, that smell, I can smell that smell. It is amazing. Oh yeah, yeah, there's nothing like um, the ink and pulp of a bookstore mm -hmm. like Becker's. Love that. Okay, so I know on one of your adventures to the store, yes. you found uh, books that have ties to KPRC. Yes, yes. Um, one of them is a Texas travel guide written by a former news director. And the other one is um, The Fault Does Not Lie With Your Set. Um, it's kind of like a comprehensive history of KPRC in the 20th century. Um, and I believe this one is signed. Um, neither of these books were something I was looking for right. when I went to Becker's. But as soon as I came across them, I knew I had to have them in my personal library. How did, how did you find that they had ties to KPR? Oh, right on the back. It yeah, says. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's how, Zach. Um, this is one of the books. The Fault Does Not Lie With Your Set. Uh, they're asking me not to move it. The other one is, um, I'm going to hold this Texas Parks, up. a history guy. Texas Parks right here. I'm going to show this to Rich so he can show this one as well. Uh, where did your love, Brie, come? When did your love for books begin? Oh, um, from the earliest of ages. Um, that's a gift my mother gave me, yeah. was um, learning and, well, teaching me to read. Um, yeah. I just always loved books. Um, you're never alone when and you, you have a book. In your lifetime, how many books have you read? Oh. Have you had to put a ballpark figure on this? I couldn't say. Um, I've read about 200 books in the past two years. Wow. Um, if I did the math, which I won't try and do <laughs> right. now on air, but... <laughs> Yeah. yeah. I was just proud. I went to uh, Brie yesterday and I was telling her that, again, Amy Davis, she turned me on to this one book. It was It's called The House Across the Lake uh, by Riley Sager. Yes. And um, I read two books in July and th these were the, the, the first two books I've picked up in years. So it was it was really nice to be able to find that joy again and to, to go on those adventures. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's nothing like cracking open a really good book. I love that. I actually ordered three more of his books on Sunday night. Night. They came in last night, and I started one uh, yesterday evening before I went to sleep. Congratulations! Yeah. That's amazing. So You're excited. on a roll. I, I'm not. Fe I'm not feeling this one, but sometimes it takes a little time. You know, it might yeah. take a few pages to get into it, but I'm. I'm hoping it's there. Oh, I'm sure. If it will not, be. we'll try another one. Okay, <laughs> Bree Zamora, thank you so much for coming on the show this morning. I do appreciate your time starting your day a little extra early. If you haven't scanned the QR code at the bottom of your screen right now, uh, do so because this will bring you directly to the article that Brie wrote. It is a very, very special article. Uh, you will love it. It will uh, make you want to go to Becker's Books if you haven't already. It is there at the bottom of your screen, that QR code, and we are back right after this.